Hey guys! So I just wanted to show you my most recent CVS drugstore haul. And I will say as a disclaimer, I did have a 25% off coupon, which is huge. If you join their Extra Bucks program, every once in a while they'll, show, they'll send you a 25% off coupon. And of course it's only on regular price items, which is fine because then you can use your coupons on top of that. So it's a good deal. I had a whole bunch of coupons and a lot of them were expiring soon so I had to jump to my local CVS and usually those 25% off coupons are only valid for two days so I had to take advantage of it and in a little bit I will share a little surprise that I encountered at CVS that kind of ended up having me, me spend a little more money than I had planned on originally. So first up let's start with hair. So. I have been eyeing the new uh, L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care styling and treatment items, but I haven't picked any up. So I did pick up the new Triple Resist Ultimate Strength Solution. And it's with arginine. It's supposed to uh, make your hair three times stronger, more resistant to breaking and all that stuff. It's a leave-in treatment. So I am excited to try this. I will let you guys know. And I also got the new Color Vibrancy Dual Protectant Spray. So what's neat about this, it's, it's supposed to keep your color, it's got antioxidants and it protects from like heat styling up to 450 degrees. And it's a leave-in spray and it's supposed to nourish and shine. So excited about that. I've been needing a new hairspray now that I've been trying to use my curling wand. And the hairspray I have is like from 1982. So I've been needing a new one. I got the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hairstyle and it's in the Locket formula, which is weather control hairspray. It's got up to 48 hour hold and it's supposed to be anti-frizz, extra strong hold, humidity resistant. I've been using it. I like it. I would like to find something that's not so, it's not crunchy, but it's not as soft and bouncy as I'd like. So I also got the L'Oreal Paris new Youth Code BB Cream and it's a BB illuminator and it's supposed to even illuminate, perfect, moisturize, and correct. It's got only SPF 15 which I think is kind of lame since it says it's got the word sunscreen huge on here. I got it in the color medium. I will let you guys know how this goes. It's unfortunate that's only SPF 15 but if you've tried this, let me know. I also got the new Pore Vanisher, the L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher. It's a texture protector. It's supposed to actually shrink your pore size in a month, which I don't know because everywhere you read it says you can't shrink your pore size. So We will do before and afters on this one. And the L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum. And I got this because Nicole Guerrero has like been raving about this for God knows how long. And it was actually the last one on the shelf, which is funny because she always talks about how it's not in the store. She like can never find it. I got a spare Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner in Blackest Black. And I got a spare, and I always have a spare because I feel like a lot of times people waste money because they buy something when they have a sense of urgency. So you run out of your favorite eyeliner, you have to go out and buy it when it's regular price or you don't have a coupon or something. So if you always have a spare that you bought with a coupon or on a sale or something like that, you are all set and you don't have to make those impulse buys. I also got a spare of the Maybelline's The Rocket in Blackest Black. I feel like even though I have a lot of mascara, I always have to have that one. I use that at least once a week. I also got these L'Oreal True Match crayon correctors and I got it in fair light and this is for under my eyes and I got it in light medium. So got these two. I have heard that the, the CoverGirl ones that I've been using are better than this but I figured I would be giving them a shot and I would love to do side by side review on the two. So I was turning the corner ready to check out with my modest purchase of all the items that I just showed you, I was like, okay, I'm not going to spend that much. It's awesome. Whatever. I just need to use this 25% off coupon. And I turn the corner and I see this four foot section display of NYX Cosmetics. So I know in other drugstores and I know maybe in other parts of, I don't know, the world or this country or whatever, NYX is sold in drugstores, but here in Florida, it is not sold in CVS. You can find it at Ulta, you can find it at Target, but not at CVS or Walgreens. 
So I was floored. And because they were not on sale, because they usually don't go on sale, I was able to use my 25% off coupon on them. So I went a little crazy, probably too crazy, but I don't know. Some of these items I've been dying to try and some of them are just replacement items. So for example, th these are like backups. I love the NYX eyeliner pencil. I haven't found one that I love as much as this and I use this every single day over my liquid liner and it's in jet black. I mean, every day. I got these two primers. Well, I don't know if this is technically a primer, but it's the Shine Killer. It's supposed to reduce shine. And you know me, I'm always trying to find ways to reduce shine. So I will let you know how this goes. And I also got NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And just the packaging alone and also the name of it, I feel, is trying to be a dupe for Smashbox Primer. So I will let you know how that goes. Kind of like the NYX Pore Filler. It's supposed to be like the professional, but not quite as good, I guess. I also have been wanting to try the NYX Setting Spray, and I got the matte finish. They also have it in a dewy finish, but trust me, I do not need help getting dewy. That is just the nature of Florida. You don't need help with that. You're always dewy. So this would be a long-lasting matte finish to be determined. I haven't tried it yet. I also got a backup of the NYX Super Skinny marker eyeliner. You guys have seen me. I use several different eyeliners to achieve whatever eyeliner look I'm looking for and it's because they're all different thicknesses of brush or marker tip and that's just the best way to do it. Use a variety and this one I use like to make the actual tip tip because it's so skinny at the end and it's in carbon black. So I also got this NYX liner and smudger pot or whatever and I got it in Bewitching Betty. It's basically black. I've been wanting to try it out and see how it works, see if I like it better. I got one of the NYX Butter Glosses, which I don't have any actually. This one's called Meringue. It's a nice pink color. Really cute. I'm excited to use this. You guys know I love lip products. Probably too much. I got three of the regular NYX lipsticks. This one is Narcissist. It's a pink color. Like I don't have enough pink, but whatever. It's right there. I also got another pink color. This one is Hot Pink. It's like... The thing I love about NYX lipsticks is that they glide on like butter like butter. And this one is Chic Red. And it's just a red color. I mean, wow. And then I got three of the matte colors, the matte lipsticks. So this one is Sweet Pink. It's super pretty. So I'll start on the other end and work my way in. Wow. It is so pigmented, so beautiful. Oh my god, this is going to be my favorite color. Watch. My concern with matte lipsticks is usually they just accentuate lines in your lips or if you have chapped lips. I don't know. I find them hard to pull off. So this one is Summer Breeze, another pink. Big surprise. It's kind of, it's pretty light. But it's beautiful. It's right there. Oh my gosh. And the last one, and also the last product that I got in this haul, is called Natural. And I don't tend to go for colors like this, just because, I don't know, I don't really care for like nude colors, but it's not like a brown nude, it's a pink nude. So that's why I felt I could get away with it, in my mind, I guess. But yeah, so these are all the NYX colors. Super excited to use those. So yeah, that's... I hate to say that's all I got in my CVS haul because I know I went a little nuts, but like I said, use coupons, use sales, and just really, you know, try to save a buck. Don't pay regular price for things that you know will go on sale someday or you'll have a coupon or whatever. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. But anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya!